morning everyone. Uh, well, it's not so good this morning, I must admit. Um, Monday, so the start of another week. So, um, the weather here is, yeah, um, it's raining, it's been raining heavy, it looks blowy. So, not much of a day for doing much of anything, to be honest. So, um, I'll just get on and put some makeup on and just have a general ramble, if that's okay with you lot. Um, last week was quite eventful. Um, the highlights, I suppose, were having the boys for a sleepover and then going out to Road Hall, um, which we thoroughly enjoyed. Um, what else did we do last week? Um, well, of course, the closet confessions <laughs> with the how to wear red. Um, I just had to have a go at that um, because I, I just enjoyed the episode so much and I thought I need to do something about that. So um, I, I did enjoy styling up the red trousers and everybody seems to have uh, liked the post so uh, yeah I, I, I did thoroughly enjoy that um, other things that happened so I've just put all my base on and everything there uh, yeah um, had a bit of a <laughs> I won't call it an accident. A silly slip last week and um, I lost my footing on the stairs. So as, as a result, I slipped down the stairs and I banged the back of my head um, as well as my elbow. So I sort of pulled myself together, but it didn't half sting. So the upshot was that I wasn't able to wash my hair for a few days and when I did get to wash it I really haven't pulled it too much and uh, so my video I did with the, the red trousers when I looked at it uh, after and I thought oh my hair's a bit of a mess. <laughs> So, um, and yeah, I hadn't said anything to anybody as such, um, but I did mention it to my sister. And um, I said to her, I said, well, she said, oh, are you all right? And yeah, I said, well, hopefully. Oh, I've picked the wrong one. Oh, no. Um, I said, but it did just shock me a bit. I said, but uh, I said it could have been worse. And uh, I said, of course, I said, uh, I assume if you hadn't heard from me for a few days, you'd come and investigate. So, so do you know what she said? She said, we'll have to get you one of those alarm things that you wear on your wrist, like Aunt Edie used to have. And then you can get the paramedics out to you cheeky devil so you know sometimes sisters can be so cutting <laughs> but uh, all joking apart uh, it, it was um, it was a a crack <laughs> um, luckily it seems all right now it's just it's still a little bit tender but um, at some stage I'll get round to doing my hair <laughs> a little bit better than what it does look at the minute so, um, so, so, what else have I got to tell you? Oh, masks. Well, of course, it became mandatory on Friday, didn't it? So, uh, I went and did my shopping. The supermarket shopping put the mask on it was okay-ish um, I just found it incredibly hot um, 
the supermarket itself was quite warm so um, and the thing is you you breathe in hot air aren't you <laughs> so but I, I did manage okay on that occasion my second occasion um, was again a supermarket thing um, I struggled that time because come what may I couldn't stop my glasses from steaming up now previously I'd, I'd position them and they were okay but this particular time I couldn't stop my glasses steaming up so I ended up taking my glasses off now what happens then I couldn't bloody see could I <laughs> so I, I mean you know I, I was having to put them there and take them. so that was a bit of a nightmare um, but yesterday was my third occasion of <laughs> wearing a mask because I had to go to Marks and Spencers to pick up um, a parcel. So I put my mask on and it was okay. And then I went to the coffee, coffee shop. So that meant I could um, take the mask off. I'll explain what I'm doing in a minute, but I'm sure you can guess. So forget that one. Um, so yeah, that, that meant I could take the mask off and have a coffee and a sandwich. But when I put it back on and went to go out the store, so when I got outside of the store, I thought, right, I'll, I'll take the mask off. So I took my glasses off, unhooked there, went to unhook that one and it got totally caught up in the hearing aid so as I pulled it the hearing aid popped out and luckily I managed to catch it before it hit the floor but these are the trials and tribulations um, with wearing a mask but okay I, you know before anybody says it it might seem trivial but um, it is a bit frustrating so um, the other thing I've done is, uh, I've both just found something for my eyes over, so I'm not particularly going anywhere today, apart from the post office, um, so I'll just do a very neutral eye and just put some moon on. I may have mentioned before that my son is very close to moving a house now. They actually put their house up for sale uh, before lockdown and it sold within two days. They then found another one that they were interested in, put an offer in on that and then lockdown happened. So everything ground to a halt uh, until we were given sort of the permission for estate agents to open up again and um, viewings to take place etc. So thought everything would start moving. Uh, unfortunately the house that they were interested in um, that couple didn't find anywhere and it went on and on so in the end um, Gavin and Sue decided that perhaps they needed to look elsewhere so they did and they found another lovely house um, which should all complete within the next couple of weeks so of course they're in the process of packing up and getting rid of uh, Things. So among the things that they wanted rid of was two Nintendo DS and a load of games. So I, I put them on eBay yesterday and do you know what? I'd no sooner press the button to list one package than I got a, a message 
would I accept such and such a price? So I went back and I said, yes, I would. Uh, then he, he came back to me and said um, he was more interested in the games. Would I amalgamate the two posts and accept a certain amount? And I, and I said no to that. Um, and I, I, as soon as I'd said no, I then got another message from someone else offering a price, um, which I said yes to. And so she duly pressed the button. And then she sent me another message saying she was interested in the second one and would I accept a price? So I went back and I said yes. So within, uh, honestly, it could only be 15, 20 minutes from actually posting on eBay, they were both sold. So um, it was, <laughs> and sold for a good price, let me tell you. So, uh, so my trip down to the post office this morning will be to post uh, a large box and uh, my son was highly delighted with the amount of money that uh, it's generated so no doubt he'll find something else for me to sell for him because <laughs> um, you know it's like oh yes mum will you do this yeah okay so So yes, eBay. I am an eBay fan. As you, as you know, I have uh, purchased various things through eBay and I've sold various things through eBay. So uh, it's give and take. Uh, just shut up while I do this. Of course, the other thing that I ended up with uh, at the end of last week was um, my Beauty Pie box, which I have now used all, all of the things in there. And again, I'm very pleased. Uh, there's nothing that um, I don't like as such. No, actually, I won't do the lips for a minute. So, the other big thing today is um, I've received my latest order. So, this has come this morning and uh, within there I've got my top up for Victoria for my eye, so that one I knew about, and uh, I've also ordered Wisdom. It's one that I've looked at many times uh, as a sort of a neutral one, so that one's arrived this morning, uh, and. Because they're new, you can't open them, can you? So I'll have to persevere and open that one up at some stage. Um, and then, I've, I've had that. Isn't that lovely? I didn't realise that they were doing the little sleeves on uh, the, the packaging. So this is um, a lip love. See if you can guess which one it is. Uh, right. Oh, I love, love that. Makes you feel like you're getting something really special, doesn't it? So, the only thing was doing it live when you're filming. So, uh, 
goodness me. Um, how am I going to open this? Right, let me see what I've got. No, I don't think I'm going to get it open that easily. So, right. You'll have to wait to see next time as to what I'm doing with that. Um, but it's actually Valentina. Now, it, it's a colour that I've seen people use and it, it is actually on my match to me. Um, so I thought I'd try that. Um, and then, of course, who can resist it? So uh, let's have a look. is rather cute isn't it a lovely little bag so let's see oh my goodness oh I like that um, I like the magnifying one. I don't know if I can get a shot of that. So if you can see. No, I don't know if that came through or not. I shall have to practice doing that. I like the magnifying one very much. Um, the other one, yeah, that's okay. But me having very poor eyesight, this magnifying one will be a boon. So, yeah, tick in the box, Trini. Definitely tick in the box for that one. So, so I've got Wisdom, I've got Valentina, I've got a top up of Victoria and I've got my little tinny frinny mirror. So um, nice, nice surprise, nice box of tricks to go with. And um, I'll endeavour to open them up. In the meantime, I'll just put some sash on. <laughs> so. some on the cheeks and at least I look something decent to go down to the post box or post office should I say so yeah just a, a catch up everyone I've got lots to show you this week actually because um, I, I'd got my Zara order which did arrive and I haven't shared that I've got some more goodies from um, Marks and Spencer. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll endeavour over the week to show you a few different things. And um, let's see where we go with it. OK, uh, I have got the boys overnight tonight, so we'll be together tomorrow. So I don't know yet what we'll do. but. Whatever it is, I'll share it with you. Okay, have a good day, everybody.